Always on. On air, online, on mobile. Fox Toledo News at 10 starts right now. You decide 2010, less than a month before Election Day, pictures of a Republican congressional candidate surface wearing a Nazi uniform. Rich Ayat is now being questioned because of his choices, but he says he's just a history buff. It's a good example of why people look at, at career politicians and say, you know, we just can't trust these people. Look how they act. I mean, they be, behave like, like children uh, with the, the mudslinging. Republican candidate for the 9th Congressional District, Rich Ayat, says he doesn't want readers of The Atlantic, a national magazine, to get the wrong impression of his values after an article published Friday questions why he dressed as a Nazi while being part of a Nazi reenactment group. Historical reenacting is something that, that millions of people participate in around the world. The fact that, uh, the fact that they selected that one particular issue to talk about, you know, I've, I've done reenacting like said, for you know, probably 35 years, and I've done a lot of different eras. Like the Civil War, World War I, and World War II. Ayat admits to his past reenacting, but says he never meant to disrespect anyone who served in our military or anyone who has been affected by the tragedy of war. He even showed us some pictures of his reenactment experiences. I think the vast majority of people understand reenacting and see it in the context that it is. But Ayat's opponent, Marcy Kaptur, well, she's saying the act is indefensible. First reaction was um, shock. Um, then my second reaction was dismay. And then my third reaction was disgust from what I've seen. Still, Ayat says his supporters will see through the Nazi controversy. They know who I am. They know what I do. And you know, again, just because someone puts on a uniform and plays a role, that is that is not represent who they are. It's just complete, completely uh, disgusting, really. Now, Fox Toledo wants you to be informed when you cast your ballots. On Monday, we will broadcast a live televised debate between Marcy Kaptur and Rich Ayat. Our media partner, the Toledo Free Press, is also helping to put on the event. Now, the debate will start during Fox Toledo News at 6.30 and continue until 8 o'clock.